pictures or take videos? I'll um, do probably both, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's decent condition, man. You got a little bit, little bit of scratches there. Eh, that's normal, you know, you're renting the car out to people and it makes perfect sense. So that happens when you get too close to the curb. Oh, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Um, I learned, yeah. And those are just rock chips that just mm -hmm, happens. Mm -hmm. And also notice that there's no road rashes on the yeah. wheels. Okay. Uh, don't yeah, get yeah. too close to the curb. Oh, until yeah. I oh, you got it. And because the front is so low, be careful with that. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I uh, yeah, no dings, no, uh huh, no scratches on the oh yeah actual car. Yeah, I've been driving the C6 for the last couple of days, and I really liked it. And I was, what'd you think of it? Ah, I thought it was amazing. You know, anytime you you push on the on the throttle, you're always moving. Oh, Doesn't yeah. matter if you're going 60, 70, 80. It's the power is just it's all there. It's all really really keys in your pocket. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and sit down and start the nice. engine. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So I'll take it for a spin then. Should I know anything else about this or? Um, no, just remember that. Uh, take good care of it. Yeah, just be careful with it. <laughs> so this, is this like your daily driver or what's up What's up with you in this car? Uh, or do you, do you just rent uh, out cars? A few, few cars and just kind of rotate them all around. Interesting, you're just like the other guy that, that, that I met. Very interesting. He was the same way. He, he has a mini mart and behind, he lives in his mini mart and behind his mini mart, his garage, he's got eight cars. And two of them are Corvettes. You got some Mazda Miatas and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing I'm doing. I just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> except I don't live in a mini mart. Well, he like had a. Well, I don't know if he lives there, but it looks like he had a house, and then he built a mini mart around the house. Is what it looks like. Oh yeah. So Asian. Asian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tony, like, Tony Vu. Yeah, maybe you know the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got, wait, doesn't he have a? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. What is that? Is that a type of car? Or? Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, I forgot what the name of that thing is. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this thing has some pickup and go. How many horsepower does the other one have? Uh, it was, uh, 400 and, like, 45, I think. Or some, like... Plus or minus five or ten, maybe. Wow. This is probably the same thing. I'm thinking. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. much the same thing. I think it's faster. Though. I mean, quicker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Top speed on it. this one is like 180 or something. Oh yeah. wow, wow, amazing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, you got it the first try. There's a a lot of button. yeah, a lot of people can't get it the first try. Why is there a button? That's just how they do it. It's they love buttons. They don't like they don't like doors. There is a door handle. Um, what? Below there, uh, it's like in case the button fails and you're in the car, the handle's right there. Oh, if you're, but if you're in, the, what happens if it fails and you're out of the car? Yeah, so. That's so much leg room for me. I'm too short to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so remember like you were always saying like, why is he, why is he laying down like this while driving? Apparently that's how all sports cars are. You're supposed to be like extremely relaxed laying down while driving. But how do you see the front if you don't sit up? Well, I can kind of sit up a little bit. Like I can kind of, I can tell that the front isn't that long. So it's not like a super crazy big deal. But what if the- You can air your cooch or whatever. Um, uh, how do I turn it off? I think you just press it a couple more times maybe. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. On the older ones, they had a but like an off button. Oh, well, that's good. Cause then you don't have to keep pressing it a bajillion times. Yeah. But it's no no big deal. And it's dual too as well. Yeah, dual climate control. I can control your climate through here, or you can control your own climate. That's just kind of so cool. cool. Yeah, I mean it's pretty nice. Um, and then this top comes off. There's a, a lever right here, and there's some levers right here as well that you remove. And then you can just put it put it in there. But I think it's maybe you just a little. Set it in there, like you in just the back? you just set it in there. Yeah. There's latches you can attach it to. I mean, they have the convertible version, but it's um, it doesn't have to be. Whoa, I like this mirrorless thingy. Oh yeah, this thing auto dims. If it, once it 
once it gets, if there's like a big truck behind you or something, it'll dim a little bit. Um, not sure, but it has like the OnStar, the SOS thing. And then not, that, is. that might be like voice command maybe, or I don't know what it is, honestly. The only thing that I hate about this car is this. Let me show you. This fucking thing. Look how stupid and ugly this thing is. I mean, it works. You take it out and you can put your phone here or something. Um, just kind of cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's just crazy features all over the place. Like it's just super feature packed. Apparently these settings that you can do on here, they're, um, they don't just do for your seat. They do your drive settings, they do your radio station settings. Mm -hmm. All the settings you do in the car, it remembers and then you can tie them to these buttons. That's cool. So it's actually way Including more- Including like the climate too? Include, I'm pretty sure the climate too, yeah. It's literally mm -hmm. geared for everything. Yeah. That's insane. Um, can you see the heads up display from here? No, so I said, oh, does this not have the heads up it display? It does, but you can only see it from, from the driver's seat. Um, yeah, it's extremely fucking cool. I think I'll let you drive it in a little bit if you want. Um, I'll but yeah, as long, in the parking lot. <laughs> as long as you're extremely careful and stuff. Fuck, it's hot for me. Check this out. Does it have a thing that could go over this or no? What do you mean? A cover? Yeah, you can get covers from this. Actually, is is special UV, so it, it protects you from oh, the UV okay. rays, okay. so you don't have to worry about your face or anything. Yeah, um, yeah just the sun exposure. Well, I already exposed myself to the sun, but I put sunblock on before I went outside today, so I'm kind of okay. But my eczema, ooh, my eczema when I went on the trip was so bad. My my eczema did not like California. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it did not. Probably just leave this on though. Should get a little cooler in a second, but um, yeah. And apparently you can you can store stuff in here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So like, if you want to store anything in here, there's a first aid kit in here. Some people put their phones in there because you can charge your phone there. Um, you can charge it here. You can charge it here. There's actually built-in charging. Uh, you can't really see it, but there's two here. There's auxiliary SD card, and then there's I think additional additional ones. So if you want more charging, you, mm -hmm. you can. So I don't know. I guess he had a he had an Android phone, so he left that in there for Android phone users. I was thinking maybe I should donate him a, an iPhone cord, kind of for shits and giggles. But this thing is ready for an oil change. I think maybe later. Actually, no. Date, service, mileage, due. Yeah, so it's getting really close to its oil change. And this thing's also saying it's probably time. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah. honestly, all the stuff on the inside doesn't even fucking matter. Like all this shit, this shit doesn't even fucking matter. What's really fucking important is under the fucking hood. The hood and the heads up display are, are really fucking cool. You're gonna really, I think you're gonna enjoy them. They're they're truly something. Um, yeah. Are you gonna enter? What's going on? So like yeah, yeah, customize, customize the mirrors, customize the seats. Okay. You're gonna want to do all that. <laughs> As you can feel that that's definitely for me. <laughs> yep. That's, that's how that works. Dean. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do it your way. And then this is also adjustable. You can move this up and down and stuff too. Okay, up and down too, I think. I know you like it, uh, I think, high up, right? Yeah, I like it high up. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I got my little bar or something. 
Should we get your limbo? Actually, it's not gonna let me adjust it until it's on. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Damn it, that's stupid. You were just adjusting it. It should it should just know what you're doing. <laughs> I was just like, all I did was turn it on. Yeah. Oh damn it. Hold on, okay. <laughs> I see the speedometer. Whoa. How do they. What? You can move that up and down too. There's adjustment right over there where it says HUD. Like. Oh. Somewhere over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. the fudge? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think what it's really neat actually. What the hell? It, you can change that so you can make. You can put whatever you want to see there. There's a, a, a change button, you can change it, but I'd probably leave it on that one for now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on that because that's, I can that, take that's a, a good one. Look at the miles per hour. Yeah. <clears throat> just gonna adjust it near her. Yeah, just that just a little. Right. I really like how the mirrors look. They're yeah. Like kind of blocky, kind of tiny. I like them. They're very cute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> very kawaii. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I will put that there. Cute. <clears throat> and the key there. Uh, the key just. Um, Where does it sit normally? I can just keep it in my pocket. Yeah, do that. Okay. I think you're maybe able to put it in there or something. Oh, this time. Yeah, just take your time, you know, you don't have to be driving crazy or anything. And then as you feel a little more comfortable, always give it just a little bit of throttle. On turns, when you give throttle, that is the most dangerous thing. So keep in mind, you're very, very gent, you're very just like light on the throttle with, with turns. You can lose control very easily. I feel like I'm taking my driver's test. <laughs> Uh, not necessarily. I'm not going to judge you if you make mistakes. No, no, you know, I understand it's, that. It's just one of those things that I'm like, I'm in a nice vehicle and I want to pass my driver's test. You'll pass. So. You'll pass as long as we don't die. Yeah, I'm just going to let everybody go. Yeah. That way there's nobody in front of me or nobody in back exactly, of me. Exactly. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. fucking cool looking down i can't believe they don't have this in all cars yet yeah like what the fuck Why this car they? this car is literally more feature packed than like cars that are feature packed and stuff like the acuras they're considered like high technology car oh, really? this car literally has more technology than acuras damn and same thing with um with mercedes benz they're also like very high technology cars oh really yeah they have a lot of microcontrollers and a lot of things that make the ride very smooth stuff so yeah i think i'm supposed to go 25 here but i'm not sure yeah yeah this, this is the place this to the go place 25 miles 25. right yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like when you drive a truck you uh -huh. have a lot of play like in the wheel is what they called it yeah okay yeah. okay we can do this you can try tapping it a little bit after we pass 55 just go from like 30 to, to 60 
but don't tap too hard. Just a little bit. Ooh, we're getting up there fast. When, when you start losing control of your handling, that's when you know you're pushing down way too hard. Because okay. that's when you can tell the handling gets kind of difficult. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you're doing pretty okay now. Wow. It just feels like, that's why I was saying, it's kind of like driving a truck, but it's it's different. It is. I mean, it has, a, it has an engine like a truck. It's, you know, pretty similar. There's actually, I think, trucks that possibly use this engine or a similar engine. So it's actually pretty similar, believe it or not. the sheriff right now? Yeah. Oh my god, the odometer. Okay. The odometer's really cool, yeah. Like, really? Why don't, like, normal cars, like, we're Listen, just talking about everything. Listen, do you know cars. how long they've had this odometer thing? Since the 90s. No, they fucking did Yes, it. they've had you it since the 90s. You are lying to me. And it is so advanced. If you think about it, it's extremely smart, and all cars should have this. Girl, this is the lies you tell. Are you serious? It's... It has not. Serge, look at me and tell me it's that been it's been around since the 90s. No, it has it's not. It's been around since the 90s, yeah. No. It's genius. What the? F the Corvette designers, they literally are like many years in the future with their designs and stuff. Like many, many years in the future. Yeah, I would say just try, try pushing down kind of more hard. Come on, you can't even hit the engine. Ooh. A little harder. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> the only thing you should be scared of most likely is you may get a ticket in this area, but... That's why. Um, <laughs> I'd rather be... Yeah, this is... What's, this what's is crazy is when we're, when we're driving, a good thing you didn't push down on it. The sheriff's fucking right there. Another one. <laughs> Another, Another one. Another sheriff. The sheriffs are all over this place. They know. They're like, they're like that's the Corvette driver. That's the Corvette driver. Everybody, pull this, pull this guy over. Yeah. He's right. You can't miss it. You can't miss it, indeed. You really can't. Okay, I need to watch. No, what it was was they originally saw that you were here, and so they're like, it's a guy. Go fucking go fast. And then now that it's a girl and I'm going the speed limit, they're like, fuck. Never mind. I think we're <laughs> supposed to go on the bridge of the gods over there. Oh, shit. Sure. Um, okay. Pull over where that car is over there. We're gonna, I'm gonna analyze the, the trip. Okay. Because we may need to do a U-turn and then get on the Bridge of the Gods. Okay. It's called the Bridge of the Gods? Yeah. That is hilarious to me. Yeah, this is, this okay, is I'm good. not gonna actually pull, pull. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, let me just access maps. Stop ahead and pay toll. Yep, looks like we're at the pay again. Don't make costs and like, it's just something that they probably thought that nobody cares about. That is perfect, though. It's so nice, I, though. I mean, I, I guess because as a consumer, it's important for me to be able to see my what speed I'm going. Yeah, you actually look at it. You actually, you actually use it. Unlike having to look down here, which yes. is way more inferior. It's, it's so much more inferior. Yeah. Also, I would like to point out for people who have uh, progressive glasses, this would be perfect because they'd be able to see their odometer oh, without yeah. having to look oh, a specific yeah. way. Definitely through. Um, Got the money's right here. I is Hi. ready. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. And the guy's probably like, that's why it's a nice corner. It's a BS. girl. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do this loop and then we're taking a left once the loop is completed. Yeah, I'm pretty glad I'm getting you to drive it because I like really wanted somebody else to try to like kind of appreciate the ride, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful experience, honestly. Like Sam ended up smoking and he couldn't really drive, so yeah. I was like, dang it. But this was with the C6. With the C7, I think he'd be blown the fuck away with the C7. Like it's really, it's actually exceeded my expectations quite a bit. I didn't think it was going to be this cool. Yeah. Yeah, like this is really nice. The only thing that is my biggest the like, visibility. peeve 
No, yeah. my biggest peeve about this, being able to see, I love the fact that it's a really nice odometer, okay, uh -huh. and that I can see it. And especially yeah. like as a person who deals with people's eyes, this is perfect for people who have, who just right. want to be able to look at it. 55, come on, come on, floor, floor. You can do more, 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 more. You can do more, you can do more. Much more. Oh, well, you're still learning, it's okay. I'm still learning. Yeah, learning. but moments like this, this is a good opportunity because there's nobody that can get in the way. It's a clear area, you know. You can you can almost go as fast as possible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so apparently it's pretty easy to burn out and stuff, but the, the car does, this car has more safety features than the C6. So it's actually designed to protect you, but yeah, just, just know, yeah, it's dangerous. Okay. Like now is probably going to be the time that I'm going to speed so that you I can, can get You can speed over. a little bit, yeah. Yeah, you have to like put your hand up to yeah, the. You have to like, yeah. Or at least that's what I think. I don't know. Maybe the mirrors work. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. I haven't been in a situation where uh, I really need. It. So it's 65 here. Go ahead and try to bring it up to like 75. Mm, more, I'll more. just do 65. Give it more power. Come on. Don't you want to know about the power? I do, but I don't want to also get in trouble. That's okay. That's okay. That's fine. If you do it for a very short amount of time, like when me and you got pulled over, I was literally driving 85 the whole time oh until we got pulled over. So I was Yeah, and we passed like three cops. So I was being I was being very careless, but like it doesn't have to be that way. I'm just saying in key moments you can you can speed up. It's like not a super crazy big deal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this fucking truck trying to pass you. You can fucking smoke this guy over here. <laughs> His I your engine is more powerful than that truck over there. Yes, that's very oh, true. Oh, are you saying the cruise speed? Yeah, that's what I'm actually playing with. Oh, so I'm the type I've never of person, done that. I'm the type of person, I love my cruise control. Uh -huh. So I love cruise control because I'm actually, to me, when I set it at cruise control, A, no cops are going to pull me over because I'm going the exact fucking speed limit. That's true. Second that I like a lot about it is that it actually gives me room when I don't have to think about the speed, the speed so oh, that yeah. I can look around and I can enjoy oh, the yeah, experience that's true. too. That so that's so true. the way that I look at this. Yeah, I think this right here is a built-in microphone. That's my guess. Ooh, I'm not sure. Yeah, one of the, one of the CRVs that I was looking at had a custom modification that somebody did that had a microphone. Which is kind of neat. 